there's been a connection placed into your life that you are aware is something bigger than most connections you've ever experienced. There's something different. There's something already healing about this. And I sense you may have been a person in the past that got pretty fast into relationships. You followed fast and you would fall fast and hard for people. The biggest thing to you is you, you're like, I don't want to get my heart broken again. So you've been very open to love, but also selective to love, which is understandable. And, and I see, though, that even with everything you've been through, you do want to wear your heart on your sleeve for whoever becomes your romantic partner. You're wondering how this person feels about you because it looks like your communication is pretty well. It's pretty good. You're bonding, so it's it's like it's not even necessarily what are they thinking about you because you're pretty communicative about it. But the bigger picture of this, what does spirit think of the connection? Well, they're seeing that. Both of you are serving a big purpose in each other's lives. The individual connected to you is a, is a busy person. They have a lot of responsibilities, other obligations, so you may not be able to see each other all the time, but that doesn't mean never. You could have had relationships in the past where it's like as soon as you were together with them, bop, 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 you would see each other every single day, and it was a lot of codependency. With this dynamic, this person, you're realizing it's going to take a lot of patience and and trust and being okay with distance but you're focused on doing things differently this time is what i'm hearing as well there could be a part of you that there could be some form of like jumping to conclusions or even a form of arrogance that you've come to realize about yourself which is amazing we all have something within ourselves we're continuing to upgrade so admitting it to ourselves but not being self-deprecating and also not just saying it and then continuing to do our actions is the difference between when you make it happen for you or continuously to you. I see that this individual there is this energy of still making decisions and weighing out if being together is the best, I see that you are really are in kind of a sense paranoid if there's other options or people, etc. This person, I'm going to pull more with these cards. I want to pull more now with these cards. Let's see what that's all about. This person definitely has their guard up as well with you but it's not this guard where it's like it's not a guard where i see deflection or avoidance they let you know that their hands are up but it's not like they're all the way up like they definitely are just kind of more just fucking prepared if you will there's absolutely other energy connected to their life other responsibilities and this is a, it's a good thing when somebody has their own life and doesn't want to be the fact that you're together become their all-consuming factor right okay so these are the cards let's further dive into this reading Wow. Well, this is a spicy reading. There is going to be a lot of growth that's going to take you to transcending timelines together. And I'm not saying that's not possible. I'm not saying that it's going to be toxic or anything like that. 
But this connection, if you dive into this, understand you have your work cut out for you. This connection is not, the best way to put it is not normal, okay? So it's not the normal dynamic that we've been taught a relationship is supposed to look like, be like, etc. Yeah, it's collective, so that's what takes what resonates. The first thing to understand within this connection, you two were destined to meet each other. If you didn't explore this dynamic, it would be avoiding fate or destiny. We're destined to meet people. We are not destined to stay with people. Staying with people is based off left, right path choices. What I see is this person definitely feels a, a deep attraction to you. And there's flirtation. There's strength within your connection. They see you in a, in a positive light, okay, as we speak. But there is this sense of competition in their life. It's something that can't be uh, thrown away feeling. So this either means you will feel competition from somebody or somebody will feel competition from you. And this can mean many different aspects. It doesn't have to be just love. This person could have a best friend that has a like this type of connection to them. Or this could be about their parents, their siblings, or very well, another connection romantically. You have to take what resonates with this. What I do see, though, if you are to lead a lot of your decisions based off ego, this connection is not going to work out. There is a lot of communication that's going to be needed between you two. What I see is if we feel, if the ego is trying to make you feel like there's somebody, it's an interesting energy. Once the ego in you tries to start battling for this person's attention, it's interesting. I don't feel that you'll... I think in the past, you've had to battle for people's attention. In the past, you've been lied to in a lot of dynamics. Blindsided. So, this person isn't like that. But it's... If your paranoia gets the best of you, if you make actions based off of feeling competition, or like there's a battle, it's not going to go well. This individual is good for you. The reason you hear me and feel this sense is I'm, I'm channeling almost the two different timelines together. A timeline if your actions lead to... If you're, I'm channeling the timeline if your ego's actions take over versus your intuition's actions take over. And when I see the intuitions, the intuition actions coming over, I see the understandance of avoiding the actions, movements, and thoughts that could end to this whole dynamic having to be washed away. You're going to have to battle a lot of inner trust. And... This is kind of, in a way, uncharted territory for you. Interesting. So, with this being said, the person connected to you, as we speak, is trying to balance and is, is being at peace with fate that they don't know where your connection is going, but if they don't pursue it, they're always going to wonder what if. It's as simple as that. I see that you are a pathless chosen, so your person attached to you is using a lot of their own discernment on proceeding forward with you and less on their surrounding loved ones' opinions, um, assumptions, etc. of who you are. Or this could even be their own paranoia or fear, not letting that get the best of them and stop them from proceeding forward with you. This person doesn't intend on leaving your dynamic if nothing is made to where 
boundaries have been crossed to have to. They want this to work out. They want there to be problem solving and for every party involved within this dynamic to be able to get along. They do feel sometimes their heart being pulled two ways, uh, but it looks like you proving who you are in this dynamic, not only to the humans of involved within this or etc., but to yourself and to your guides, proving that you won't allow that possessive part of you or what you've been made to believe relationships are supposed to be like overpower your intuition. This connection is going to cause you tower moments. It's going to cause you reflection. But it is meant to happen. It is being put in your life for a reason. And remember, we're destined to meet people. We're not destined to stay with people. That is freedom of will. As we speak, they know that you are a soulmate. They know you're something even more than a soulmate. They've made a clear decision that they're not going to drive away from you. But they do have to see that you're, for them to fully open up and put their guard down, they have to go through seeing some tower moments with you and how those moments react because we don't really know who people are until we go through very emotional, spiritual, and 3D world life Tension, trauma at times, experiences. It's easy in the beginning to put a face on or etc. But this person's made a clear decision that they know you are serving a purpose in their life. I see that they're in recent times could have been already some tower moments you two were able to prevail through. And for some of you, there's still a sense of those times coming to form, but being able to see the bigger picture. The timeline, if you choose to all coexist and work together, you and this person choose to power through insecurities, fear, to see you all, your loved ones, from your side, their side, and etc., can sit at a table together and be peaceful and, and not allow that ego to form all this confrontation. I do see home life abundance. I do see all the people under the roof or connected to them and you all being able to coexist, to mesh together. This connection has like been a renewal for you and you're very blessed. You're all blessed to have each other. Spirit wants you to remember though that ego in the beginning is going to be it's something to be really prepared for keeping in check. But there is a key in a, in a bigger picture to this puzzle if you will. The timeline, if you were to decide to make actions off of ego and etc. It's an interesting energy. If you were to make decisions based off of ego. I feel this person would be split two ways. Channeling these cards a little bit further made me see something. What Spirit's telling me with these cards is you are not going to mess this up. I don't see Spirit telling me I need to channel a timeline of if it's versus if you lead by intuition and take these tower moments of utmost importance and power through and see the bigger picture versus if you don't. That's not what these two cards are. These two different sets. What I'm giving, I'm giving confirmation of and filling, is that this really is going to work out. 
that you are going to do the work on your end. So this is more an understanding on how it can go. It's more of an understanding on if you go powering through with none of the ego getting the best of you. If the other individuals as well partnered within this dynamic are able to on their end not let ego get the best of them, I do see the ability to sit around and coexist and see the bigger picture to make memories and moments and be able to be at family gatherings and life-changing events together. To not have to be sitting on totally different sides of the table on purpose or avoiding each other. If both all individuals within this dynamic are able to do that, you're going to learn from each other and it's going to be a really good coexisting dynamic. If we respect boundaries, if we respect the boundaries, but still lead through some fear-based decision-making, not ego, because I feel that there's a sense that no matter what, you're not going to lead through ego or um, demand or anything like that, but there may be some decisions you still make based off fear with this dynamic, with trusting. It leads to kind of like a dynamic where there's a sour taste in, in each other's mouths, if you will. Meaning, the people that are connected to your person, there could be a sense of you guys being able to exist, but not get along. The feeling, the attention, the passive aggressiveness. If there's a passive aggressiveness, passive aggressiveness that comes from your end, it's not going to be a comfortable dynamic with this person's family, friends, etc. I don't see it not being possible. It really looks like here that there is a great results that's coming from this dynamic, but there's a choice of this to be able to be a coexisting and truly upgrading experience versus getting your desired outcome and having wish fulfillment and love, but still this negativity or misunderstandings or fear-based closing doors being a power that is still very stressful in your dynamic and could lead to conflicts. What Spirit's trying to say is, and I'll build it off with these cards, so we understand what would happen in this dynamic if you let through ego. If you tried to cross boundaries too soon, or if this individual didn't respect you, etc. If either of you were leading through ego-based decisions, this would end before it truly even got to start. We know, though, if you lead through nurture, compassion, sympathy, or your intuition, and understand you're going to feel uncomfortable in the beginning, understand it's going to take time to... Be able to coexist or f or feel a real connection to the people in your person's life. But powering through that, that it will lead to more than coexisting, to actual real connections even with those individual people in a real sense of celebration and enjoying time together and etc. And we know that if you lead through respecting but still letting fear hold you back from connecting that that's going to lead to some friction i'm not sitting here pointing all the finger at you for how this dynamic goes there's plenty on that person's side as well that is a balance of this but this reading is for you to understand your side you will have readings in the future or maybe you've already seen some of mine that are talking about it in like the opposite direction. This specific reading is for the center focus on what you are to do to make this work, to coagulate, to coexist. 
by leading through respect but still fear to connect or being passive aggressive not doing things that are disrespectful but that aren't are definitely not um receptive it would lead definitely to somebody feeling like they have to stand up for themselves with you and put like a foot down and it not being a very happy it would lead to you guys not having a very happy ending there's left path right path choices and this reading you fill me with this type of tension because i see how much all of you in this dynamic have crossed boundaries with others multiple times in your entire life put yourself last all of you have done this and now all of you are in a state of i'm never doing that again all of you are also in a state of not self-sabotaging their family it's taken so much time to grow and to be able to trust and it just looks like that foundation it's taken they don't want anybody to ever disrupt that it looks like this dynamic is it's good for you because of how much the connection is organic but like the 3d world changes it's it's making you learn connections have to be organic but growing together is a thing that has to be learned and actively consciously done so there will be a sense of this person ending up feeling like they have to stand up for themselves to you or for somebody else and it not leading the fear would basically long story short the fear would lead to ego-based decision making on your end and it not going the way desired but if you challenge and you're not perfect you're gonna have moments like you're gonna have moments of minimal ego minimal fear but if it's talking about if this is the overpowering force that's taking over all of your decision making and not growing from it, etc. That's what will happen. Here is the timeline. The future, the four movements based off of working as a team. Based off of you taking the challenge head on to your own parasites. To not be focused on I can't fuck this up. Be focused on your own self-worth. And to not challenge this person. It's an interesting energy. To not challenge this person's emotions. Spirit's also stating with this that by not talking about things that need to be talked about, by beating around the bush for so long, that will lead to ego based decision making on all people's aspects. By confronting these moments together, by actively listening responding by releasing domestication and caring what other people think when you have nothing but pure intentions by working together to release imposter syndrome to work together by releasing trust issues and fear this is what happens you're able to Share a deep sense of a future where you're independent. You're one with yourself. And you know that nothing is trying to get in the way of you and this person. You have everybody on your guys' side. And I'm not saying it's important to be liked by everybody at all. But these are good people attached to your person. The people that are part of this reading, their found family, their their romantic family, their love family, etc. However it is, they're good people that want to be on your side. It's just all about you guys coexisting. It's about not throwing... anybody under the bus it's about everybody taking their own actions do not throw fire at each other 
Do not speak to each other out of anger and fear. You respect yourself. You respect all parties involved. They will respect you. This connection is helping you gain even more independence. I know you're a very strong person and you've had to overcome quite a bit by yourself. So they're not stating that that independence means you're going to be alone. It's meaning that you're able to still jump and make your own decisions and live for yourself while being partnered with this person. The bigger picture, everything comes together and understanding the choice is yours. You have aligned with a soul tie. This person is something that is meant to stay in your life if all parties are able to drive forward together. That's what I got for you today. If you're interested in a personal reading, go to offprintment.com. You will see the link on all my social media platforms. Also, while you're there, I like to promote two things I don't normally talk about on my website. So two services I have are the inner child slash inner teenager healing session and also the soul uniting. I have a specific whole reading plan lesson that I dive into with people who are specifically wanting to connect more to their inner child, inner teenager, etc. Heal apart, release things that have just been stored within you to go ahead and understand their language and how they talk to you and what they're desiring from you. If you're interested in that, go check out more on the My Services tab on my website. Another thing, the Soul Uniting. I bring two people together that are e either romantic partners or soul family members. That could be blood or that could just be, you know, platonic met during this lifetime. But long story short, two people that love each other who are either in unalignment and they know that they love each other and there's just there's just these spiritual blocks, etc. And they're needing spirits further guidance and understandings on how to really move forward together. To get over and release the trauma. To get over assumptions and have that true beginning. Or people who have just been disconnected for so long and they, and they don't know how to understand each other, but they want to. This reading, the soul uniting, I read both people's cards right in front of each other. All life, no matter if you know everything that's happened to them. Being in front of me with spirit and you two here, hearing in me explaining you the feelings that the, all that trauma they've been through, either if you know it or not, transcends your understanding of that person and your nurture and your sympathy and your compassion. Them hearing yours does the same thing and the vice versa. Makes them even easier to give you nurture, compassion, sympathy. Your karmas align, meaning high vibrations, sending 10 times multiplied back and forth between you two. If you're interested in learning more, go to the website, offprintment.com, services tab, scroll down until you see the Soul Uniting session. That's what I got for y'all today. I'll see you when I see you. Let's get it.
Thank you.